not slope and rate of change. You might have heard me say the word slope and rate of change in the past. Um, rate and change and slope are literally the same thing. Um, in seventh grade, we call it rate of change. And in eighth grade, we call it slope. I'm not sure why we have to change it, why we call it two different things when they mean the same thing. Um, what we're going to call it, generally you'll hear me to say it with the word slope. So slope is the rate of change in a relationship. Slope or rate of change is a ratio of the falling. So it's the change of Y over the change of X. And that's an X right there if you can't tell. Y always goes on top over X. On a graph of a linear relationship, slope describes the gradient of the line. Basically means on how steep the line is, is the gradient. So there are four different types of slopes. There's a positive slope, a negative slope, a slope of zero, and an undefined slope. So when we talk about slope, generally you read the line from left to right. So you know how you read the sentence. You start with A, positive, slope, increases. So you're reading from left to right. So when you see this graph, start here at the left and go right. So when you start here at the left and you go right, your line is going upwards, hence positive slope. At negative, you start at the left and go towards the right and you see the lines going downwards, hence negative. Here, your slope literally does nothing and it has a slope of zero. Here, your line is vertical. When your line is vertical, it's called undefined, means there is no slope. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to identify these lines to figure out if they have a positive, negative, zero, or undefined. So line A is right here, and it's just it's a flat horizontal line, so it means it has a slope of zero. Line B is right here, and it's going downwards from left to right, so it means it's a negative. Line C is right is vertical, so it means it's undefined. Undefined can be written out as undefined, or you can write a zero with a slash through it. it means it's not possible to do. And then line D from left to right is going upwards, so it's positive. Okay, and then you can list out strategies, but we'll just move on. So to find the value of slope from a graph, you have to find the ratio of the vertical change compared to the horizontal change, or as we say, rise over run. To do this, choose any two points on the graph and then draw a right triangle to count the rise and the run. Also, simplify your ratio when possible and remember to check if the graph has a positive or negative slope. So here, first thing I'm going to look is a line is going upwards, so my slope is going to be positive. So I'm going to look at my rise. So this is my rise. And I'm going to rise one, two, three, four. So I rose four. And then now, and I, the reason why I know to stop here is because now I'm in line with the next dot. So that means you can run to the dot. So you're going to go one, two, three. So I ran three. So my slope will be four over three or four thirds. And so we're going to try that again. So this is a positive slope because it's going upwards. So I want to rise to my dot. So I rose one. And I stop here because I'm in line with my next dot. I'm going to go one, two, three, four. So I ran four, so it'd be one fourth. This slope is going downward, so it's negative. So I'm going to put my negative sign there so I don't lose it. And you just need any two points. So you can find any two points on the graph. Um, a point is where it's on the corner of the boxes. So like this is a point, And then this is a point. So I'm going to rise one. So I go up one. And then I'm going to go one, two. And since you went to the left, um, that's a negative two. Because remember on a number line, if you go to the left, that's negative, hence the negative sign. But you don't have to write the negative two anymore because we already wrote the negative sign for answer. So our slope is negative one half. Okay, find two dots here. So a dot would be right here, and this is a positive line, and right here. So you can go one, two, three. So I rose three, and go one, two, and I ran two, so three halves. So what I would recommend y'all doing is pausing the video and you trying these out, and then checking, checking in with me. All right, so this would be a dot, and then this would be a dot. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. So I rose four. 
and I'm going to go one, two, three. So I ran three, so it'd be four thirds. Um, this slope is vertical, so it means this is undefined. So you write a zero slash, and then this slope is negative because the line's going downwards. Um, this is a dot, then this is a dot. So I'm going to rise one, two. So I rose two, and I'm going to go one, two. And I went to the left too, so I'd be negative, hence the reason why the slope's negative. So it'd be negative two over two, which can be reduced down to negative one. And that's how you find slope of a, of a graph. All right, thanks guys.